My name is Greg Evans. I work for USDA APHIS, the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service in Beltsville, Maryland. I'm responsible for the identification of scale insects and white flies primarily. So we'll go to the uh, Siphoninus filaria specimen next. This is the ash white fly. And you can see that it has uh, these very elongate siphons. It's pale in color. And it, it too, has this very unusual character that's only found uh, to this degree in siphoninus. There are some other genera that have a few of siphons, but nothing like this. Okay. With whitefly taxonomy, sometimes we deal with separating certain genera by key characters that only those genera have to help us separate them from the, the mass of them. Okay. So here's the transverse suture again. This, these are the A1 CD. See, this is the first abdominal segment, so we call these the A1 CD. Here are the mouth parts. And the lateral margin, you see it's not differentiated. A lot of times at the lateral margin, it'll either have a pore or a cleft here, or the teeth will be different at the lateral margin. But this is what we call undifferentiated because it's the same at the lateral margin as it is along the, uh, at the tracheal opening. This is the caudal end, the caudal CD. And the vasiform orifice. You see that the operculum is very small, and it only covers a, a less than half of the orifice. But uh, in this case, the siphons alone are enough to place it to genus. Okay. 